Project 19030, Predictive Maintenance Trend Monitoring for Avionics Equipment. Project Sponsor, L3 Harris. Team Members, Bill Brooks, Antonio Garcia, Israel Henthorne, Ksenia Komarnitsky, and Riley McGuire. The following slide contains the Predictive Maintenance Trend Monitoring for Avionics Equipment Project Poster. The poster goes into detail on the background, materials, methods, results, and conclusions of the project. This information will also be discussed during the presentation. Component failure on an aircraft can cause unplanned downtime and incur additional costs. The project's goal was to utilize AI technology and historical failure data from the NXT series transponder to predict the probability of a failure based on historical failure data. Ultimately, this software will be used by L3 Harris engineers as a way to improve their customer offering. The APMM system block diagram depicts the two main subsystems. The trainer, consisting of a parser and analyzer, whose inputs are the training data and fault data, and a separate failure prediction software with an output report and additional test case data as an input. There are three functional requirements that depict the program's core capabilities. First, the ability to analyze data from the NXT series transponder. Second, the creation of a model based on that historical fault data. And third, the ability to validate the accuracy and confidence of the avionics predictive maintenance model. Materials and methods. Design. In all three iterations, 75% of the dataset was used to train the model, and 25% was used to test the model. Iteration 1. The first iteration was vector analysis. It used a manual non-AI approach to the problem. Each of the parameters were sorted and plotted. The distributions within the plots were then analyzed, and areas that were clustered and concentrated were identified and cataloged. The test vectors were compared to each and every parameter. If a given test vector fell within its respective interval of concentration, it was counted as having been positively identified as a failure. If that same, if that same match occurred with a test vector associated with a component that had not failed, then it was a false positive. At this point, the model is ready for further testing. Iteration 2. The first AI approach was XGBoost. It used gradient boosting decision trees to make its predictions. Here, the training model is built through a series of decision trees. The process involves advanced mathematical algorithms. These algorithms produce a model which analyzes a single fault vector and produces a fail, non-fail classification. This model is then applied to all faults on a unit. The unit ratio of pass-fail is then applied to a confidence algorithm, which accounts for the number of faults and the accuracy of the XGBoost model in making the final prediction. Iteration three. The second AI approach was to use Keras, a deep learning tool. Deep learning uses a neural network that have a number N of hidden layers. A hidden layer is a layer between the input and output layers. It calculates predictions useful for the output layer. This produces a model which works the same as the XGBoost model. This model is then used in the same aggregation algorithm as its prior iteration. Verification process, testing procedure. All testing was software-based and done in three phases. A set of unit tests validated that the input output expectations were met. An accuracy test 
validated that we met our accuracy requirements on a split test training set. Finally, a stress test ensured reasonable performance within the upper bounds required of the system data sheets, which were signed and overview of testing procedures. The graph of the model's performance versus the acceptance ratio displays the relationship between overall model accuracy, true positives, and false positives versus an increasing model acceptance ratio. The final version of the avionics predictive maintenance model utilized the XGBoost approach described in the second iteration. The results include an overall accuracy rate of 67%. Performance requirement was greater than 50%. The true positive rate, which consisted of a failed unit being correctly identified as a failed unit, was 44%. The false positive rate, which represents a non-failed unit being incorrectly identified as a failed unit, was 18.5%. The performance requirement was less than or equal to 20%. The final model was tested and verified following the procedures defined in the verification plan document. In conclusion, the final iteration of the avionics predictive maintenance model met all functional and performance requirements. The team successfully utilized agile methodology to work through the project and overcome any roadblocks. And a major lesson learned was the value in open source software for AI implementation instead of creating a completely custom software. Final deliverables to the project sponsor L3 Harris include the avionics predictive maintenance model software, a user manual, testing software, and all project documentation. From all of us on Team 19030, we would like to thank the following people. Our project sponsors of L3 Harris, Jay Crossman, Jonathan Kunz, Tyler Hiltz, and Mark Christensen. Our project mentor, Claude Merrill, and the University of Arizona faculty and staff, Kat Merrill, Professor Sharon O'Neill, Professor Jose Ruiz Duarte, the U of A Craig M. Burge Senior Design Program. Thank you.